everyone, Lunar Dave here, and welcome to an episode of Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Now, before we begin, I just want to address an audio issue I have with my DS, or at least um, when I plug the aux cable to my um, laptop, it makes this sound in the background. I don't know why it does that. Um, it's probably um, the sound from inside my computer, and it's just projecting back to my um, adapter because I am using a USB adapter for this for the sound because I don't actually have a microphone in So yeah, that's the thing so Anyways, let's put the volume back up so at least um for most for the most part We'll be able to drown the sound out by simply just turning the volume up on our 3ds Anyways without further ado, let's continue the let's play in the next morning. I reckon we ought to head to school early this time. I'll have to introduce you to the teachers and all, for starters. I'll go along with you this time, from, but from tomorrow, you'll make the trip by yourself. Yeah. Let's hit the road. Chapter 3 On a hill where a large tree stands. <laughs> about the sum of it, Mr. Principal, Mr. Vice Principal. So I'll be leaving the kid in your hands. Go on, show your manners and say hello. Ho ho ho! Seems we'll have another fun addition to our class. What a delight. I'll be glad to take responsibility for the education of your young charge. Good. I'll just see I'll be see I'll just be seeing myself out there. Don't make any trouble in school. We've already got enough troublemakers on our hands. I can't weather another scandal. Now, now, Vice Principal Watchdog, I would say that's quite unnecessary. Do we truly have any troublemakers at our fine school? Of course we do. One in particular, the very bane of my existence. Oh, uh, we all know who that is. You know exactly who I'm talking about, Mr. Principal, and don't you deny it. My dear Vice Principal, I'm sure you never mean to speak ill of our precious students. Good morning, Mr. Farfetch'd. Ah yes, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Farfetch'd. And a good morning to you, Miss Dearling. Good morning, Teach. Say, Teach, why are you always carrying that leak around you, huh? Well, it'd be quite far-fetched for me to not carry around such a useful tool. I'm afraid you're wrong about one thing, though. This is no leak, it's a stock. Er, but never you mind that now. Come along everyone, to your seats. Seems, that, seems as though the students have begun to arrive. Let's introduce you to your new classmates, shall we? Everyone, I have a special treat for you. We have a new friend joining us today. You'll all be learning together from now on. That's the kid who... You're the one from yesterday. <laughs> What's that? It looks like some of you are already acquainted with our friend. For those of you who are not, I'd like you to meet David. David had just moved here and lives with Mr. Nuzleaf, who you may know. I hope you all get along well. Oh no, it's Freya. <laughs> I'm gonna be late! Oof! Typical! The troublemaker strikes again. Oh, sorry, sorry, are you okay? Well, you're the one who... It's the crazy kid from yesterday. Everything's going black. I can't hold on. And... David blacked out. He went back to a Pokemon Center. <laughs> huh? Where am I? Oh, you came back to us. This is the school nurse's office. You blacked out and lost consciousness. It was Frey who took you out. Do you remember anything? Well, it's good that you're awake now. Looks like you should be fine. Oh, me? I'm Adino. 
I'm actually the village doctor, but I also help out teaching he health here at the school. I'm sure you'll see me around. I'm afraid class has started without you. If you feel up to it, David, you should probably hurry back to join them. I don't want to. Let me skip school. <laughs> Alright, I'll just go anyway. So, uh, in the end, the Graveler, fed up with the lack of sheep, decided to try counting Mareep. Sleep. I'm sleep. Okay. One Mareep. Two Mareep. Three Mareep. Four Mareep. Five Mareep. Six Mareep. Oh, there's David. I'm awake. I'm listening. <laughs> David, you're finally awake. Are you okay? It was totally my fault for running into you like that. Excuse me? We are in the middle of a class, you know. No one said you could leave your seats. Sorry, Mr. Farfetched. Uh. David, are you well enough to rejoin the class? Yeah. In that case, please find your seat. There's a space open next to Freya. <laughs> Oi! All, all eyes up front. Yes, sir. Now then, let me continue with the reading. Let's see, where were we? Uh, yes, yes, right about here. Seven Mareep, eight Mareep, nine Mareep, ten Mareep. When recess finally rolled around. Thanks again for yesterday, no problem. We owe you, David. You really saved Gumi out there. Wait a minute. What did you do, David? Suddenly, everyone loves you around here. <laughs> what a bunch of dummies. You're the dummy there, Pancham. Hey, Pancham. I've got a good idea. What kind of idea, Shelmet? Well, you see... Whisper, whisper. Murmur, murmur, whisper, whisper. And finally, classes drew to an end for the day and after school. And after school. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Farfetched. Yes, see you tomorrow. See you later, Mr. Farfetched. Yes, yes. You take you take care on your way home. Walking home. Hey, David. Let's walk home together. All right. I'm sorry I never got to finish showing you around the plaza yesterday. I'm afraid a little something popped up and got in the way. <laughs> but today, today's a new day. How about I take you around after this? What, you already showing yourself around? Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, that's that, I guess. Wait, let's see how long this will go. Okay. Just how long is this, this um, forest path trail thing? I don't know what you call it. Okay, it's, it's just looping. You, you, I can see the same exact bushes. Okay. Oh, I know. In that case, how about this? I've got something really good sh to show you. Someplace really good? Yeah, it's the best, and you'll feel great after visiting it. You'll see. Don't you want to check it out right away? You want to see this really good place? <laughs> yes. Really? You'll really come with me? Alright, you're the best. And follow me. This way, hurry! Hold it right there. Ah, oh, we're just ignoring him. Hey, I told you to stop, didn't I? What is it? We've got some place to be, so... We aren't talking to you. It's David who needs to hear us out. So, David. You did a pretty good job making it out of the foreboding, foreboding forest yesterday. What, David? You went to the foreboding forest yesterday? How did I not hear it between the conversation between Gumi and Deerling? No one is talking to you, you, you little... Anyway, David. 
Don't go thinking that making it out of the foreboding forest means they're tough. Yeah, don't go thinking that. There are way scarier places than that in the world. Yeah, there are. There are? Where? <laughs> right, I forgot you're an exposit expedition society wannabe or whatever. Back to the point. If you can clear an even scarier dungeon, then we'll admit you got some guts. So how about it? You up to the challenge? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go. No one is talking to you! Uh, Freya reminds um, a, lot of, a lot of me. She's exactly like me in terms of personality. Wow. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. Yes. Your adventure will be saved. Please do yada yada. Isn't this the Drillbur Drillbur coal mine? That's right. This is a mine that Drillbur run. But it's not only a mine, it's also a mystery dungeon. The path splits in two halfway halfway into splits in two halfway into the mine. If you take the path on the right, it'll just continue on into the regular or old mine. The path on the left is usually barred. We want you to sneak into that left path and bring us some red stones as, as proof. I kind of stopped listening there for a while, but I think I got it. So we just have to find some red stones? That's right, do that, and we'll admit to everyone that David has real guts. I'll have you know that I cleared that dungeon in no time flat. <laughs> really? That's amazing! Yeah, well, that's just how good I am. <laughs> Never mind, that's, that is a total lie. They'll find out for themselves once they see what lives down there. <laughs> so why is no one supposed to go down that left path anyway? Huh? You really want to know? Oh, nope, nope, don't tell me. It's way more interesting to find out for yourself firsthand, right, David? Yeah, it is. That settles it, David. Let's go dip, give it a try. Hey, hey, wait! Why are you inviting yourself along, huh? No one ever said you could go. W wait just a sec there, Pancham. Mm, what now? I have an evil scheme in plan. Whis whispered. This could be our big chance. After all, Frey is super annoying, right? I get you. Yeah, we could do that. Fine then. The two of you can both go. Just bring us back those red stones. Yay! I get, I get a companion. I've been planning to show you one of my favorite places, but I guess I can wait. Let's go check out the dungeon. Check it out. Ah! Er, uh, where are you two going? Inside? You're that little rascal from the village. And this is a mine, you know. A mine is no place for a child. I see, I see. Sorry to have bothered you. Since that's the case, David, let's go look for an opening so we can sneak in past these guys, okay? Oh, how bold. An opening to sneak in? What part of that is sneaking? You said it right in front of us. You can't do that. Don't worry about it. We'll be real sneaky so you don't notice a thing. What? But if you want to get ready first, we don't have to go right away. We can go. We can go. We can get to the plaza that way. If you need some items, head to the plaza first. What do you think? Do you want to go right into the mine? Yeah, let's go to the plaza. Gotcha. Let's stop by the plaza. Da, 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 playing with the aux cables. Fun. Alright. Let's see. What's up in the box? Let's deposit some of our money. Let's deposit all of these. And see what we can re withdraw. Okay. I can see taking two apples. Two orange berries, two tiny river seeds, the uh, one blast seed for the upcoming battle. I'll take one elixir since I don't use them too much. I'll take three slumber wands and 
one petrified wand. Alright, seems good enough. Now let's go. <gasps> no way! They can't really mean to go back into the mine! If they are, then I guess we have to stop them. Oh um, my. Well, you s see you. Uh. Oh well. <laughs> uh, they just gave up. <laughs> Uh, I love the music here. Oh shoot, there's another one. There's another one! Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's use vacuum wave. Oh shoot, okay. Let's hope one attack will do. Okay, it's rock type, so... Let's use vacuum wave one more time. Hopefully that will kill him. Alright. Jeez, I'm so weak. Alright. Let's see what item we got here. Totter orb. That's gonna be pretty useful later on. Dun, 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 dun. Oh shoot, he's on. Uh, keep pressing X. Uh... Alright, let's just hurry up and try to kill this Aron here. Jesus, Aron was pretty tough. Alright. Ooh, a tiny reviver seed. That might be useful. Oops, I accidentally used bite. Oh shoot. Okay. Things are not looking great so far. Let's just hope it doesn't get any worse than this. Uh, and I keep pushing Freya. Uh, Alright. Let's see. Nothing here. Shockingly, we haven't found Clink yet. Which I'm kind of curious on why. Alright, doesn't really matter the grand scheme of things. Shit, okay. Let's do this vacuum wave. One more time. Oh, come on. Oh, better. Alright. I'm already pretty low on my hunger. Because I'm so I'm because I'm so used to using the stamina band back in Explorers of Sky. Uh, I'm gonna need some time adjusting. All right, let's do a quick attack for you. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh. Okay, we killed him. Okay, we sleep. All right. We're losing hunger pretty fast because I kept pushing Freya on accident. Not looking great so far. Ooh, a crit. Okay, we got pretty lucky. Level 7. Alright. Alright, let's continue on. Oh shit, that's a lot of that stuff. Alright, uh, let's just fight him. Uh, like, enemies take so long to kill. It just, it just feels so different from Explorers of Sky. Oh shoot, oh shoot, okay, um... Dang it, okay. Alright, let's go upstairs. And get this confused one, which will be very helpful for us later on. There's a T-bone. Let's demolish it. Level 
six. Good, good. Let's 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 try to outlast my hunker for a little bit. Four, the fourth floor. Okay, let's eat an apple now. I probably should have brought more. But I think this is sufficient enough. I brought su sufficient um, apples for the security. It's only ten floors, if I remember correctly. Probably even less. Since this is pretty easy. And really early in the game. Alright, let's get this geo dude. Besides, we can feed on orange berries just in case. Unfortunately, um tighter reviver seeds don't heal hunger, so yeesh. Alright. to shake off a yawn. I'm just really tired today. Alright. That's a lot of damage. Okay, I might need to use an elixir soon. So soon, yeesh. Okay, this is not great. I'm already getting hungry. Which is really bad. Um, oh yeah, those um um a checkpoint midway, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is this is it. All right. Huh? Could it be those outsiders? Wibble. We've come pretty far. Meaning we're halfway. Oh hey David, look at that! The path splits in two right there. There's nothing in that tunnel there, but... The branch is all blocked off so no one can go in. That's what Panchan said, right? We're supposed to go down the blocked path and get some red stones. I guess this must be the place. Let's check it out, David. Oh, hold it right there. This is no place for children to play, Wibble. And sure looks like you're thinking of going into this tunnel over here, but no one's allowed in this tunnel. Not ever for any reason. Oh, so it really is forbidden to enter. Thanks for telling us. <laughs> no need to thank me. Wait, do you still need to go in? Ah, <laughs> uh, Drillber. So dumb, but charming. Alright, let's see. I don't think we need this orange berry here. Warp wands, we can also take that one out. Um, slower, that barely does anything and we're not gonna get burned anytime soon. Shoot, those apples are fresh. Okay, I don't want to use them. Okay, we can deposit them. Let's withdraw. Um, save all of our apples. <laughs> Alright, I think that's good enough. Let's not save. <laughs> we can't even anyway. No one's allowed to go in, so why? Would you like to go on? Y you really plan to go in? Yeah. Is that is that a bad thing? Well, you're kind of famous in the village, and, and not in a good way. 
Come on, please! I promise we won't cause any problems. But really? Look at my eyes. See how serious I am? <laughs> I don't see anything. <laughs> then I guess we're okay to go in. Let's go, David. Wait, what? <laughs> that was never going to go my way, was it? <laughs> uh, too much fun. I like the writing. So, it's just charming. Okay. Uh, the one thing I hate about like any mystery dungeon game in Pokemon in general is that I just keep missing attacks and considering like you have a limited amount of attacks, it's really bad. Attacking ones, I'm done with it. One thing I will say is that each step equals 1 HP, so I suppose that's one benefit I could get around. Okay, that was an Arlon who took my elixir, but let's take care of that Larvesta first. Oh shit, I burned! I should have taken that on um, Rockberry. Okay, shoot. Okay, we're just gonna have to stand back and wave for a bit. Are you kidding me? Okay. This one orange berry. Shoot. Okay. Please don't miss. Alright. Got an elixir. So, we'll be able to last dungeon with our moves at least. And besides, um, once we get to a boss level, we'll be fine anyway. The burn status takes a lot more damage than, one, than, than it used to. Alright. Um, we leveled up again. Pretty quick so far. Alright. Another one. This isn't looking too... This is not looking great. At all. I just keep walking into enemies right now. How, how many do I have? How much PP do I have for bite? We have plenty. Alright. We gotta hurry up to find those stairs. Oh wait, they're over there. Alright. Let's just hurry up and go up, I suppose. Alright. Bad idea, dude. Oh no. No, don't come near me, please. Wait, can 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 I attack you from here? Can I? I doubt it. Using defense curl over and over. Oh shoot, that is not a good turn at all. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we got a hit. I just don't like how I'm just pushing other characters. It's just kind of annoying. <laughs> Alright, got me. Alright, so everyone has about 20 something HP in this level, in this dungeon, so thankfully, eh, nothing will get too bad. I, I'll be um, assuming that every Pokemon here has about at least 24 HP. And assuming that my damn every time I hit it's gonna be 11 to 17. Yeah. Alright. We got about three more floors, if I remember correctly. I don't remember at all, to be honest. Ah, it's been almost um, 30 minutes already. Looks like some time has passed. Hmm? Looks like we- Oh, we, we- we're here already? Okay. A lot faster than I imagined. Hmm. Looks like we ended up in the dark. Grr. Silly David. Was that your tummy- tummy rumbling? Huh? That's pretty odd- that's a pretty odd sound for a stomach to make though. Exactly! What do you hear that- what you hear is not a stomach rumble. 
Whoa, your stomach can even do voices? David, you're full of surprises. A stomach with a verbal burble, huh? <laughs> what? Were you even listening? The one making that noise is me. I'm the one growling at you. What? My name is Gabite, and this is my territory. And you? What are you, kids? It doesn't matter even if you are, I'm not gonna go easy on you. I'll treat you like any other thieving thieves that come to sweat my treasure. Huh? Thieves? We wouldn't do anything like that. Then why are you here? Um, what was it again? Oh yeah, the red stones! We came here to pick up some red stones. Hey, tell me, have you seen any red stones lying around down here? Red stones, you say? Those red stones are my treasure! Oh shoot! My most precious jewels! <laughs> what? I knew you'd come to steal them, you little thieves! No, no, we... Come, my drillbird compatriots! It's time to fulfill your promise and root these thieves! Let the battle begin! Wibble. Uh, about that, see, fighting isn't really our forte, so... Sorry! <laughs> the, the awkward silence. Never mind! I do not intend to forgive you, thieves. Even if you are a bunch of kids. Here I go! And here comes the music. Alright, um... Okay, let's, let's get diagonally there. Uh, chances are he's gonna use... Shoot... Alright. I can't switch up Freya. Um, Freya's gonna need an orange berry right now. Alright. Oh shoot, I used it on myself! Okay. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Alright, um... Thankfully, I have... Made, um, oh shoot, I didn't even bring that? Uh, Alright, we're just gonna have to tank it. Alright, Freya. I'll, I'll let you, I'll just let you have one tiny reviver seed. That's all I'm gonna do, give you. Alright, um. Let's just use Blast Seed. That'll make quick work. Alright, I took damage for Freya. Let's put a confused one. Alright. So yeah, we're pretty safe for now. Unless I somehow get hit. Alright, that was pretty easy. I just wasted one tiny reviver seed because of my accident. My treasure! I will not hand over my treasure! No one said you had to! Like I said, we're not here to steal anything! But you are here for my red stones! But, 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 I think you should listen to them. Wibble. Where'd that voice come from? The Drillbird? My Drillbird, my Drillbird compatriots. Mr. Gabite, sir. I think these children were telling you the truth the whole time. I looked into these kids' eyes back at the entrance to the mine. And those eyes held not a shred of... Not a shred of what? Not a shred of anything other than mischief. But still, I don't think they're thieves either. We just really wanted to see what's at the end of the mine. Sure, we came for those red stones, but you said there's some kind of jewels? If there's something precious like that and important to you, then we don't need them. You really came just to look? Not really. <laughs> yeah. Well, it appears I have made some rash assumptions. Ugh, forgive me. I shouldn't have attacked you like that. It wasn't your fault. We're the ones that came sneaking into the place we weren't supposed to be after all. Yeah, that's what we said. <laughs> I'll make a special exception. So come with me. I'll show you what lies at the heart of this mine. Really? Save and continue. Yes, save. 
You had a great adventure today. You should rest before you play more. This is my special hideaway. My precious chamber. Whoa, this is amazing! It's jam-packed with jewels. David, are you seeing this? Collecting jewels is a bit of a hobby for me, you see. I, I just kept picking up more and more, and before I knew it, I'd filled this whole room. For a while, no one noticed I had such a hide hideaway in a place like this. But then one day, the drillbird came upon in their tunneling. And ever since, more and more Pokemon have come to steal my precious jewels. That's why the tunnel to this place was blocked off, with entry forbidden. Anyone who managed to make it past the barriers, I'd had to run off myself. We promised back then that we would fight off any thieves, but... But when push comes to shove, we all get wibbly and wobbly. <laughs> and waddle away. I get it now. Well, now I feel really bad. We didn't mean to put you on the har in a hard spot. But we did get to see the secrets hidden within the mine. We, we got to see this awesome treasure room. I, for one, am totally pumped, and I'd call this exploration a success. So I thank you, goodbye, and, and you, dr 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 Drillbird, too. And thanks to you too, David. I love exploring and adventuring so much, so I really, so I get really into these kind of things. But it was really thanks to you that I can make it this far, David. I got to do everything I wanted to, to here. So now let's go visit my favorite spot. Come on, David. Let's head back to the village. Da -da 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 -da. Huh? Well, look see here, if it ain't David. Hey, you two! Did you go to the block- blow in- Go into the block path like we told you, huh? Yeah, we did. It was lots of fun. What? You did? Th then what is your proof, huh? Did you bring us back to Redstones? Nope. What? I couldn't do that. After all, Goodbye loves those stones. I didn't want to take something so precious to him and stick him in my bag. It was way better just to get, just to get, just, <laughs> just to get to see them and have that memory live on in me. Uh, it's like, what do we do? Come on, David, this way. We're here. This is it. David, look over there. Whoa, I've never... Pretty great view, right? <laughs> you can look all over S of Serene Village from here. It's not just me who loves this view. Everybody in the village comes here. So I wanted you to see it too, David. It's nice here, isn't it? Phew, we sure worked hard today. It's so nice to be able to look up at the sky like this. And that's true. The breeze feels great too. Such nice weather today. And our adventure was a success. It really is the best kind of day. Would you look at those towering great clouds over there? They're even taller than this big old tree stretching all across the endless sky. But when the world looks up at them, even they look tiny from so far away. It makes me want, it makes me marvel at how big this world is. I I want to be like those clouds. Like the clouds. I want to race away from this village and see all kinds of places like the clouds like the clouds do. I want to meet all kinds of pokemon and have all kinds of wild adventures. That's why I want to go to Life League Town and join the Expedition Society. When I'm part of the Expedition Society, someday I want to complete a map of this world. That's my dream. Wow, so Freya has a dream. Unlike me, it seems like a pretty good dream too. I could get behind a dream like that. But I can't. I can't do it. 
What? They don't let kids join the expedition society. Even if they did, everyone says it's too dangerous to leave the village. Can't do this, can't do that. That's all they ever say. Why are grown-ups always like that? They gang, they gang up, gang up on us kids and tell us the way things are supposed to be. But then, if we listen to them, we never get to do anything even a little bit reckless. Well, yeah, if we try to do something reckless, I guess they would step in. But it doesn't matter. I still won't give up. I'll never give up on my dream. Never. Never ever. I'll never give up. So David. I fell asleep. <laughs> huh? David? Oh sheesh, I didn't know you were that tired. That adventure must have worn you worn you out. Hey David. You'll support my dream, right? Even if nobody else does? <gasps> oh, you you nodded just now. I saw it! That means you will. Thanks, David. Alright, I'll give it my best shot. I'm definitely going for it. And just you watch me. Mm. I'll show everybody! Hmm. And there I am. It felt so good on up on top of the hill that I dozed off. That was a pleasant place, that hill with the big tree. The world of Pokemon has a lot of natural beauty. I get that it's a really nice place, but why am I here in this world? Why did I turn into a Pokemon? Those Behem worry me too. I wonder if I'll be okay just staying here. Rayquaza, <laughs> what are you doing? That thing! What could it have been? This, this feeling, for the first time. I feel true fear. All right, let's go to the main menu. Save complete, returning to main menu. All right, everyone, that is all for today in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!